But hey, if you listen to this one and you don't want to listen to the half part, that's fine too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but please tell me why, uh, because I want to know. <laughs> tell KJ, I might not be able to handle the truth. <laughs> yeah, tell it to KJ, and he can sweeten it before we <laughs> we let the blow over to Glenn. <laughs> Hello and welcome to episode 32 of Number One Crude Mistakes with myself, Glenn, from Number One Projects, KJ from Crude But Efficient, and Hovard from Behind the Mistakes. Hello! 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 <laughs> How are you doing, fellas? Oh, it's been a long week and it's just Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> long week and we're just in Tuesday. What about you, Hovard? How are you doing? Well, uh, KJ took the words out of my mouth there. Um, I, I can't <laughs> wait for it to be Friday and over with. So, yeah. <laughs> well, it just this just marks the end and the start of another week there. I mean, it's, uh, it's just a cycle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the never-ending cycle. The never-ending cycle. Well, this is going to be a fun recording tonight, <laughs> isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Let's just shape up a bit. Woof! <laughs> So where should we start? Who should we start with? Well, someone someone who published a video, I think. Yeah, that would be a nice start. Who did that? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Havard published a great video because I got a mention in it. Go for it, Havard. <laughs> Tell us all about it. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I, I thought it was you, but was it last week? Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I published a video. Um, it was a short one. I just depressed record on the camera and then spoke to myself for 15 <laughs> minutes and then upload and uh, seems to work fine but uh well I, I actually had a good week in the workshop or weekend uh, so to say um i had a bit of a breakthrough with uh, the the hell quarter i actually got installed the software uh <laughs> it's a trial version so it keeps bugging me with questions every third minute but uh I got 50% of it working, so now I have just to have it register the guitar input, and we should be good to go. So uh, it's getting really close. I'm uh, kind of giddy, so I'm looking forward to next weekend, trying to wrap it up in some sort of way. And nice. Of course, the I poured the tabletop, so that is ready. I now have to make the table legs. I have the materials. I just have to learn to TIG weld first. So, <laughs> <laughs> so there, there's, a, there's some hurdles in front of me, but uh, I'm enjoying them, so it's going to be nice. Well, you sent us some videos. It looks like you're making progress on the uh, on the welding. Yeah, I mean, after using half an hour of figuring out how to get it to actually weld anything, then it's uh, <laughs> worked like a charm. But of course, the the two hand coordination of TIG welding and trying to figure out the settings, and of course, don't having a a metal welding table. So I used a a wooden plate on top of my trailer outside. So. I, continuously set fire to it so <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's a part of the game but yeah i mean it's not falling apart by itself so i guess i'm doing something wrong but it's it's not looking pretty but uh of course uh, if i grind them down it doesn't look that bad and i'm going to paint the table legs anyway so i can cover up yeah. my mistakes pretty good <laughs> If I uh, want to weld in a straight line, I always used to use a piece of wood as a straight edge. <laughs> it always sets fire to that as well. <laughs> great fun. Yeah. <laughs> but you get a lovely straight weld. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I've got some uh, 40 by 40 uh, square tubing, uh, which I'm going to use as the table legs for the concrete table land. I was thinking about cutting the miters and then of course I'm going to have to make two rectangles basically that's going to form the two halves of the table leg sections and am I going to be able to get those like straight angled and the same size and yeah and then of course in the office today uh, in the, the common area there was a couple of tables with actually 
uh, some steel legs and I just use the word was. <laughs> just <stole> them. <laughs> that's my a, thoughts exactly. That's a brilliant input that is. I could why didn't why don't I do that? Nobody's gonna miss them. No, but the fact is they uh, they they were welded, but not with miters. They just uh, slapped the the butt end of one pipe to the side of the others and put some welds down. And yeah, that looks good enough. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to do that, and that takes uh, the miter and uh, of course the, the heat input, uh, shrinking the material and disaligning everything. So I mean, chicken shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But then again, being a newbie, uh, setting fire to everything, <laughs> I'm going to make it easy for myself. <laughs> when I did the uh, start of my pergola, that four, four meter long piece with the two meter piece attached to it, I might have that and managed to get those lined up. Yeah, but so you've got no excuses. You've got more skills than me, surely, when it comes to welding. <laughs> don't sell yourself <laughs> short. I I have MIG welded 10 years ago, and I think it's 15, 16 years since I welded sticks. So it's uh, I'm I'm rusty at best. And uh, so, yeah. But it's, uh, it's yeah, fun actually now having a complete welder uh, at my disposal in my shop. So, uh, yeah. Nice. I'm a metal fabricator now, so it's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Throw, throwing all the woodworking gear away. Yeah, just putting it on a pile and lighting it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> no more Bosch for me. It's Lincoln Electric all the way. Oh, well, it's not even that. It's a, it's a Polish brand. <laughs> so, KJ, you've been making a, a giant cage. What, I... is, this, is this for the wife? I mean, you say it's for a rose, but it's so big. Yeah, well, that's why I call her my my little rose. Uh, <laughs> no, I well, I tried to make a cage, uh, but as Howard said, welding is not not always that simple. Uh, because I, I I thought I had a good plan uh, laid out uh, when I was welding together these uh, hexagonal. I've done six hexa hexagonal. That's the word. Uh, yeah. sh- uh, well, it's not circles, but it's yeah, hexagonal shapes, and I was going to weld them together to to form a a long tube, so to say. And I had it planned that well, it's it's too tall to have it standing up. That will be weird. So I just I lay it down instead. And as long as I keep a close close look at all the <laughs> all the angles, keep it straight, I'll make a, a story stick that exactly thirty eight centimeters. And I use that on all the measurements, then everything should line up. And I just start at one end, and everything will be fine. And it's it looked rather good, maybe a little wonky, but yeah, that's. I mean, I'm sure that will sort itself out when I stand it up. <laughs> so, well, they were worked on it for like two hours. Okay, now it's time to put in the last rod. I, I think I should stand it up and and do it this standing, and stand it up, and it's off like like. 15 20 degrees or something <laughs> like that it, was, it looked like it was gonna fall over it was so crooked what was funny is you said me and have some pictures and the street behind you was sloping and it kind of made it look a little bit more level yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> like you made it for the slope <laughs> if only that was the case but no the lawn is rather flat at this place so and i mean that was also the uh, i was happy and sad at the same time because of 30 welds only one of them broke when i threw it uh, in the concrete i mean that's the, i mean that's the 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 farmer stress testing i'm i'm brought up on that if you weld something and throw it on the ground and if it holds up it's okay if it breaks it's bad <laughs> so, okay yeah 29 or 30 welds that's really good Oh, now I have to grind 29 welds away. Gosh. <laughs> but I got really good at it at the end, I think. So, so uh, that was a really, really blow to my self-esteem, I think. Uh, oh, not everything goes to plan all of the time. No, but it's funny if something does. <laughs> <laughs> and just, uh, so that was a definite number one crude mistake. And I, I, I already had a number one crude mistake lined up. Uh, that's what, oh, that's a funny thing to talk about on the podcast, because I, I, 
I glued on uh, some washers to my Isotunes headphones to keep uh, to, to keep the mag- mag- magnets on. Uh, and oh, this is lo- looks really nice. And then I took them, it's going to put them on, and nothing happened because those were stainless steel washers that wasn't magnetic. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just pry them off and glue on some new ones instead. <laughs> That's like me making my magnetic board out of aluminium at Christmas time. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very, very similar. I think that you should try, though, just just wing it and hope for the best, and then something like that happens. So how are you going to rectify this? Uh, are we, what we're we calling it, by the way, is it an obelisk, a, a rose cage? Uh... Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> one of those that that depends on what uh, how posh we're feeling and what we, our current think about roses <laughs> i'd call it you know. a rose gallow but I, that's that's me <laughs> can you hang a rose well i'm not sh- at the moment but i think you, you could use it for that and i mean if you strain it enough and pull the roots out that's probably what the gallows for a rose would be wouldn't you think like a pulley Maybe, system to yeah. to pull it yeah. up yeah, you could use it for that, I guess. Yeah. A rose guillotine would probably be more useful, wouldn't it? You guys have got those planned, haven't you? Yeah, but I mean, the rose uh, roots are strong, so they will come. But that's that's not the the that's what it's called the one that it's put on the strong roots. That's not Tough the flower. Roots. Yeah, that the so you get not the pretty flowers, but the strong oh, uh, yeah, growing yeah. So thorny the, things the, instead. The it only goes on a... <laughs> it only goes wor- worse with that. So. Yeah, they are grafted on a uh, on a wild root stock. Yeah, because they don't grow on their own roots. That's right. <laughs> so yeah, no guillotine is out of the yeah. Uh, some kind of noose system is probably better if you want to murder it <laughs> slowly. <laughs> but then talking about number one crude mistakes, I uh, actually the 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 worst one was today, when the first time in fifty five episodes I forgot to upload the podcast <laughs> beforehand. <laughs> Yeah, that was that felt that felt bad. So if anyone wonders why the half pint was one and a half hours late, that's because I more or less fell asleep on the sofa and then thought, oh, I'm just gonna go to bed. There was nothing else I should do Monday evening. Um, but it was. I d- I don't think anyone was sitting no. waiting no. for it. To be honest, <laughs> no, no. Although but it's, we it's got gonna... a we got a shout out actually that. Uh... One of our listeners, uh, Mangus Isleren, uh, took us and another podcast with him when he's out exercising. So uh, we are at and about, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure (laughs) we are at that level where the people are (laughs) sitting at the podcast machine waiting. (laughs) Oh, they haven't posted yet. Maybe we should call to see if they're alive. (laughs) I mean, that's a really fun thing to think about. What are people doing while, while they're listening? I mean, People are uh, most often. You, you don't want to go there. <laughs> I mean, when you when you watch you, when you watch YouTube videos, a lot of people are on the toilet at that point. Uh, but I mean, a podcast is more freeing. So you, there's someone doing the shopping or gardening or in the workshop or yeah, there's a lot of activities when you got your hands free. Uh, yeah. When do you listen to your podcast? You two. I listen to mine at work. Well, well, you mean when we do the quality control of our own or other people's podcasts? Any when you listen to any podcasts, it's mostly in the car to and from yeah. Uh, work. Um, yeah, and so, sometimes there is a few I put on before I go to sleep. But I've, I mean, I've followed them for several seasons, but I've only heard the first ten minutes of every episode. <laughs> <laughs> Can you recommend a good sleeping podcast? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll uh, put a few of them up in the description. And uh, <laughs> let's not uh, let's not uh, put any mentions of them in uh, <laughs> to the podcasts themselves. <laughs> For me, it's uh, often when I'm driving alone, and if I have some some tasks at work that don't, I don't need to think that hard; just do the job. Yeah. And not not do any reading because if I have to do reading, then I can't listen to someone talking. But if I'm just uh, just drawing, that's that's fine. Uh, otherwise, it's uh, doing chores around the house or in the garden, that sort of thing. Yeah. And if I'm if I'm actually making something, then I can put on 
one of those podcasts that I like, but I don't love, so to say, because yeah. it, it doesn't matter if I miss something because I'm thinking about measurements or something like that. But <laughs> I don't, I don't have uh, the the grade A podcasts when I'm in the workshop, right? <laughs> because I that would be wasteful. I think I started listening to podcasts probably about six years ago. And quite honestly, on the days, you know, when I break a pair of headphones or something like that, my day at work so miserable without them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's your only friends, your co-workers. It's my only friends, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's the only voice I hear in a day. <laughs> that being said, that that's a, it's, it's not a guilty pleasure. It's a, just a pleasure uh, what I actually have the office to myself then putting on headphones and just blasting music to whatever you do or a podcast or whatever that is really nice but yeah i haven't done that in a year why headphones if you have the office to yourself because the audio is better because the oh. crappy uh like uh I just have my laptop in a docking station and the screens don't have a speaker and if they had they are crap so it's much better to have the uh, the proper headphones on. I I have a, a full uh, Logitech uh, uh, sound system with like a big subwoofer and that in in the office. And it's me uh, or the one sitting behind beside me is playing music for for most of that part of the office to hear. <laughs> there are not matters of who of us get in first, gets to decide the playlist for that day because we we're the loud uh, corner of the office. <laughs> <laughs> the other other sites are more quiet and and calmly, but we are for some reason we ended up together beside each other when they planned out the <laughs> <Strange>. office. <laughs> well, that big... You said you're the you're the oldest in the office, aren't you, KJ? Uh, yes, yes, I am. Yeah. So, um, how do you get on with the other people's music then? Is that all right? It's not too bad. I mean, the yeah. the the other uh, other guy is is. Uh, one of the ones closer to me uh, in age, so I think we. <laughs> so that may, that might be might be why we want to decide the, the music instead. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's age or actually having kids, but I don't listen to as much music as I did. But what I do is more of an event. Um, but I'm also at the point where I'm, I'm really getting like, I couldn't share office with some someone playing their music because, uh, yeah, I, I I wouldn't even like it if they played my music, the music that I actually <laughs> like because it's it's very dependent on what mood I am in and what time of day and so on, what kind of music it is. So it's everything from Metallica to Pink Floyd to. Uh, queen to yeah it's to classical music depending on what i'm doing so yeah. yeah even very much the same for me actually i'm mood dependent on music i'd like to throw a bit of 90s dance into my mixture though as well <laughs> yeah that's that's again it, it I, I don't call it my guilty pleasure it's my pleasure and that's what i listen to most in the car it's it's 90s uh, swedish dance music very often there are some bangers there and just turn the bass to the max in yeah. the car and just blast along <laughs> and i don't care who, who hears me so uh, yeah i i don't really care about what music it is at that point when it's just white noise in the background what i really hate is silence Especially in the office, if everyone's just sitting there tapping along and no one says anything, that's <laughs> that drives me nuts. I need some kind of background noise. Oh, it's uh, it depends. Uh, I've <laughs> again, children. I, I've come to enjoy silence <laughs> more and more. And I think it was on Saturday. Uh, I had a few hours on my own, so I, I mixed the leveling concrete for the tabletop, poured that, and set up the welder and. All right, I'm going to have myself a few minutes. So I made myself a cup of coffee and then it was a, a sunny day. So I just uh, put a lawn chair out in the driveway and I sat down with my cup and 
just dozed off for half an hour. And when I woke <laughs> up again, I just sat there and, oh, this is really nice. And I enjoyed it. And I haven't slept that good in years. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yep, getting old, just sitting outside uh, in my driveway in silence, judging the world. <laughs> it was a nice day. <laughs> So one thing I used to do years ago when we lived at uh, our past house, my next door neighbor is a very good friend. My then next door neighbor is still a very good friend. We used to come home on a Friday, around about the same time, I'd say, do you want a beer, Matt? I'd say, yeah. We'd just stand outside and have a beer. And then before you know it, the chairs were out on the front. <laughs> Several beers later and getting quite late on. <laughs> Lovely. It's not a better way to spend a summer's evening having a beer outside with a mate. No. Apart from on your own. <laughs> <laughs> your best mate is yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we shouldn't get get away from the fact, uh, talk about what, or let Glenn talk about what he did, because he also <laughs> published a video. I did. <laughs> yeah, I got the um, I got my new computer last week. And uh, so I got to editing on Saturday. And uh, yeah, I got my video out. Really, really slow start on that video, but it's uh, it's taken off a bit since, and it's doing quite well now. So I'm quite happy with it. Yeah, oh, it's nice. breaking the back of at least the cigar box guitar. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, but no, it's a it's a nice nice little project to do that one, and um, and now I've started on something new, and this is Havard's fault. Back from when we had. Um, Tim, Tim on for episode 20, I think it was, Havard mentioned these whiskey glasses Yeah. turned on the lathe. And um, I've, I've had that idea in my head ever since then, and I can't get rid of it. And I don't want to buy a lathe because if I buy a lathe, I'll only use it for these whiskey glasses and then it'll sit in the corner of the workshop gathering dust. So I've started making a lathe. <laughs> ah, you're you're going uh, wood gears uh, style and making a, <laughs> yeah. a wooden lathe out a of wood. Lathe. <laughs> yep, <laughs> just a drill powered one, but uh, it'll be a little bit of fun. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So it's coming along nicely. If I didn't have a podcast, do it might have even been done for the weekend. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> what what kind of drill are you going to use? They used your so, standard battery one or something plug, plugged no. in or so the reason i like bosch tools i like bosch green is because this particular drill i got when i was 21 years old my bosch drill and it's a corded one and it's just been great and it's done loads and loads of work and has carried on going and then last year at the end of last year i uh, lent it to someone and it came back with a seized chuck mm. so it sat in the box and i've not needed it and wanted to use it um and so the other day i actually got it out freed the chuck up which is also a video <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah i thought what can i do with this now i'll make a lathe i'll make a whiskey glass <laughs> nice but that's yeah. it's it's not one of the reasons why we bought this house but when we moved in of course uh there was a widow uh living here and um her late husband had actually a workshop in one of the smallest room in the basement. And it was old school, of course. He it, it had just some plates up on the wall and he used nails to hang his uh, tools up and he just meticulously painted around them. And of course... <laughs> But these were really old tools, so he didn't buy anything new uh, ever, I think, uh, since the, uh, <laughs> 1962. Um, but it was really cool, and everything was really neatly stacked. And, uh, uh, of course, uh, she said that uh, ah, she didn't need the tools. So she was going to move to a, a smaller apartment. So, uh, yeah, that's nice. I can take what is good and replace the rest but of course her sons <laughs> made small pickings <laughs> but there were some gems left and um, one of them was uh, a corded drill old as crap but of course being a maker you always hear, uh, hear people talking about the skills or something but of course it is a brand and they also make like old corded drills and I have one. It's not the most powerful. It's 500 watts. So, But I use it for uh, 
any work there uh, I don't have to care about the tool and like mixing the concrete is one of them uh, and of course it, it works yeah. beautifully but it's a bit underpowered so uh, I try not to run it too hard because then it starts uh, smoking and uh, making uh, weird noises and smell <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Yeah, it works brilliantly. So, um, and I I do have a few like old. There is an angled attachment that you can use to a drill, and he has obviously used it with that. It's like a cast metal with a hammer finish, but it is angle gear, so you can basically use it on any modern drill. But that's one of the few gems that I put away. They're not really practical for any use, but it's the kind of tools you just keep around because they're cool. It's, it's like the same with the old metal, uh, the tooth setting pliers that I have for like old saws. Never going to use it, but it's yeah. cool yeah. to have it hanging there and knowing what it is for. But uh... <laughs> well, I'm hoping the drill that I'm using for the lays up to it, it. I remember, you know, when I was 21, when I bought it and thought, I think it was the most powerful drill on the market at the time, to thousand watts. So uh, should be up to it. Yeah, I. I don't remember who sent me the link first, but uh, Makita have this drill powered uh, collapsible bike. And of course I want one, but I'm waiting for someone to uh, make one for Bosch. Um, but of course now you have the, the battery adapter. So it's, it's really not an issue anymore. Um, but that got me thinking. And I, I've seen a lot of projects using uh, like an adapter for uh, uh, like a battery drill because they are now getting really powerful. So you can actually power a bike relatively quickly. And you also have a decent range on some of them on, on the bigger battery packs. So I would like to do a project with that. And I'm not sure if it was last year or the year before, but I realized that Bosch now have a battery powered drill with 150 newtons of torque it comes with a handle and it has some built-in <laughs> electronics to stop it if it twists too fast but it, it will actually break your wrists if it didn't yeah. it really <laughs> grabs onto the material and then i thought I, I saw grind hard plumbing doing a project with like a kitty car or something and i thought what if i have two drills so that each battery pack could pop out of the hood like you have a, a v of course, a V2 <laughs> engine. And then I could have like uh, 300 newtons in a ridiculously small car and I have the batteries and everything. But I think it's like, I think each drill is like uh, all bare bone without batteries or anything. I think on sale, you can get them for like 400 euros a piece. So it's got to be the most expensive project ever. So uh, I, I need to get some... Uh, sponsorship deals going <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you should say the uh, battery poking out of the hood i had that in mind for if i ever build the rc car i would power it off uh, some spare batteries i have and have them poking out the hood like a um, an air intake for an intercooler or something yeah that would be very cool <laughs> yeah because i've seen i'm looking for like a, a a kid's car for my kids obviously um and sometimes yeah right <laughs> yeah right yeah. <laughs> and sometimes there are decent ones very cheap uh because the batteries are gone and the battery swap is expensive but many of them are on lead motorcycle batteries on 12 volts and i've seen a lot of people online they're just bah. i have 18 volts uh drill batteries so i just swap it out for that so that extra boost and of course there there is more uh, amperage hour in a uh, average drill battery today than many of the motorcycle batteries that are in these cars so people just cut the wires and swap in the batteries for the for the drill and they got more speed and longer range and <laughs> drive time than <laughs> ever so uh, yeah i'm looking for one of those awesome <laughs> Sounds nice. <laughs> Something in pink, a little Barbie car, do you think, or not fussed? Whatever comes along. Well, of course, if it's, if it's a pink Barbie car, I'm all in. But anything goes, and yeah. of course, uh, 
the youngest one is really into farm equipment so uh like these uh, green pedal tractors uh yeah, yeah that is also an alternative because i just i just chop the pedals off it already has a chain drive i just need a, a belt to drive onto the axle of that sp- sprocket and then i can mount uh like any drill <laughs> So, I mean, with the chuck and everything, it's very easy to just put an axle and a belt drive in there. And, yeah. Now I have a welder as well, so now I can make uh, all sorts of things. <laughs> That'd be cool. My daughter had one of those uh, John Deere pedal tractors when she was little. Yeah. That came with an engine. It was called Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> Tied a piece of rope to it and pulled her all around our village. <laughs> yeah, you could run for a whole day on a bear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> faster, Daddy, faster. Daddy's got to refuel. Yeah. <laughs> Had a nasty oil leak. <laughs> Had to drain, drain every <laughs> half an hour. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, what are you on to uh, next, KJ? Trying again with the rose cage. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do? Just you're going to try and reweld it while it's stood up this time, or? Yeah, yeah, and paying extreme close attention to all the angles and not just half of them, and hoping that the rest will fall in line because <laughs> apparently they don't. Uh, so I think it's it's going to work out fine if I just take my time and actually clamp it properly and check square like all the time and not just rush it um yeah uh, i was uh, <laughs> i was quite miserable uh on the sunday because the weather was bad as well it's what was oh. like barely one degree and snowing <laughs> a bit and so i was i was cursing the weather i was cursing the, the the temperature. I was cursing the podcast I was listening to at the moment, <laughs> <laughs> trying to blame them for for everything. But yeah, no. oh dear. <laughs> so yeah, redo, do it right. Oh, well, here's me miserable with our weather. It's gone down to ten degrees here. It's <laughs> felt really chilly. <laughs> Been very damp as well. But no snow. <laughs> You lucky bastard. <laughs> yeah, we had snow today. Uh, like, uh, it's been a nice couple of days, but driving to work today, uh, it, like, there was snowflakes in the air. So, I was like, oh no. <laughs> but, I mean, we're still in <laughs> April. So, yeah, it's called April weather for a reason. Yeah. Well, it used to be the April showers, didn't it? Well, it did in this country anyway. And we've had April showers now since last summer. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. But you have January showers, February showers, and I mean, <laughs> yeah. what's the difference? I mean, I saw a brilliant ad for. Uh, it was a spoof, of course, but it was uh, the Irish uh, news broadcast that said there's a, a celestial event uh, going on, and it's a, a big, the big yellow burning thing in the skies with a blue background uh, that is called yeah. the skies, but it's, uh, of course, it's not going to last, and people are outside and uh, watching the event, and of course, uh, the news hadn't gone to all the furthest uh, crooks and nannies of the country, so uh, someplace they've actually started uh, a human sacrifice and so on, and uh, of course, the, the police officer <laughs> reporting on it, like, yeah, it's just the way it goes. I mean, um, something unusual happens, and they start slaughtering virgins. And <laughs> <it's> like, okay, <laughs> sounds about right. Safe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I realized a, a thing just the other day that uh, our half pints have about eighty-five percent of the listens of the main show pretty constantly uh, when you go back and see. And I, I really wonder what that is. Yeah, uh, I mean, if you if you listen to the main show, then shouldn't you want to listen to the rest of it? <laughs> because I mean, people might not, uh, some people might not know what the half pint is. That it was some some podcasts would call the after show or something like that. Yeah, uh, maybe. So if you if you like this main episode that you're listening to, you probably should like the the half pint as well because I mean that's just us rambling on 
Yeah, we we're more loose and they are shorter and they are in the middle of the <laughs> week when you have nothing better to do. So, I mean, it's it's the best alternative. I mean, the main episode yeah. comes out on a Saturday, the only day you, you have off and the shops are open. So I can understand you're not listening to that one. Unless, yeah. of course, it's it's just a recording, so it is possible to play it on a Sunday, for instance. But is it? <laughs> yeah, it's not live, Glenn. You don't have to listen live when it comes out. <laughs> Already? Oh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Only live stream for Glenn. <laughs> Those bloody American podcasts that I listen to. I have to get up early in the morning for those ones. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, dear. But hey, if you listen to this one and you don't want to listen to the half pipe, that's fine too. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. But but please tell me why, uh, because I want to know. (laughs) Tell KJ, I might not be able to handle the truth. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, tell it to KJ and he can sweeten it before we <laughs> we let the blow over to Glenn. <laughs> so KJ, when's the next video out for you? And what are we expecting? Uh, that would be the table fix and I've I've done all the pre-planning so to say. I've I'm go, gone through most of the video clips and I mean done a rough rough sorting of it uh, and that's usually it, the the part that takes the longest for me to actually start <laughs> editing because when I start it I get really into it and want to do it but at this point when you have all the clips lined up in folders and are yeah now I'm just gonna go and start and do that someday else <laughs> Uh, so yeah it's it's coming sometimes i'm not gonna rush it (laughs) when uh (laughs) when you're talking about episodes i had uh, an epiphany this week and of course (laughs) i probably missed the memo and it's probably been mentioned at one time i just never understood but for those of you who are listening um we upload our um, episodes to a google drive and at some point, all the episodes were just lying in one folder. And I really like folders. So I suggested maybe you should group them and maybe you should call them seasons. And then, of course, KJ just went and made some folders, the efficient guy that he is. And what? Season zero. And then it was season one. And then all of a sudden, just in the middle of the year, he's like, all right, now it's season two. I like all right, he's probably having fun. I I, I didn't understand. (laughs) But then we did episode 30, and he's like, all right, another season, I see, uh, said Glenn, and I just realized, wait a minute, 30, season 3. Ah, okay, so it's a new season for every 10th episode, and that explains the episode, neither season 0. It's like, ah, that makes so much sense, but it's a... It took me a year it to took figure out. Episodes to realize. <laughs> well, we didn't start before episode uh, twelve or thirteen ah, or something, true. so it only took me a year. <laughs> I never gave it any thought. I just thought, okay, Jay's doing seasons. Just let him do his thing. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> as long as I don't care, I shouldn't bo- bother him because then we've just been argu- argument instead. <laughs> And that was the other thing, of course. We also discussed maybe we should do season like like the season. So we have four seasons in a year. And then, all right, he's probably doing some assimilation to that. And, yeah, as you said, Len, just let him do his thing and don't ask. That's the best <laughs> thing. But, but now I saw the, the method to the crazy. So. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were a bit tricky with the half pipe this week. You didn't mention that you put it out for us to listen to, did you? Yes, he did. Didn't I? Yeah. I think did he? he did. But I, uh, okay. I didn't I telegraph that. it, perhaps. But it was like a, a part sentence of something else he talked about. And, like, uh, oh, and by the way, yeah. the, the half pint is out, so okay. <laughs> uh, right, I was a bit quiet over the weekend. I must have missed it. Yeah. I just suddenly thought on Sunday evening, KJ's normally done the editing by now. Shall I ask him? I'll just go and check the folder, and there it was. Nice yeah, surprise. that was like the day after the main episode. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
like I say, I was a bit quiet over the weekend. Just probably, obviously missed it. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to bring up the fact that we've got a guest coming on next week? Or is that yes. a secret? No, it shouldn't be a secret. Uh, I think. Uh, something for people to look forward to. And it's... James from Walton May. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> so if you listen to Make a Podcast, you'll have heard James before. Probably, yes. Yep, yeah, he's been on a few. I'm yeah, looking forward to having him on. It's not seems like a really nice guy. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be yeah, nice. He yeah. He's going to Maker Central as well, so we'll we'll have a chance to meet up there, I think. It's gonna be nice. Yeah, yeah, hopefully we yeah. can make it. I mean he he has uh, upgraded to to our class of having a baby just uh, <laughs> just uh, recently. So he might have some other things that he should do than just hang around with, with weirdos. Yeah. But, yeah. That again, it, it's, you say it's, uh, or it, it seems like a trend, but of course, I mean, we are makers and we have the tools and of course, ma- makers <laughs> make, so I mean, ba- babies are inevitable. <laughs> Maker's going to make babies. That's a new hashtag <laughs> I haven't used still. Yeah. <laughs> no, the funny thing is, I, um, I didn't meet James last year at Maker Central, but I stood at the side of him while he helped my daughter make her leather key ring, oh, wow. but was a little bit too shy to say hello at the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got talking to uh, Jamie Reed, who was also on the Make with Maker stand, and... Um, he gave me cider, and that was the end of that, really. <laughs> <laughs> so are you going to be a, a wallflower this Maker Central as well? or Now I'm going to uh, turn the uh, desk plaque round to head of marketing, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should uh, you should have a sign on a long pole so we could find you in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> For when you can't, for when you're too shy to talk to somebody, Glenn, come and, yeah. come and, come and ask him a question for <laughs> Introduce us. Introduce us. I mean, I, I re- <laughs> oh, it's like fourth grade uh, when uh, you were too shy to ask someone out for a dance. It's like uh, you had your friends go over and uh, do you want to? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> and then you'd see your friend dancing with that girl and you'd think, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, I wanted to talk to James and there he is Glenn just uh, <laughs> talking projects and whatever. It's like, oh, nice for him. <laughs> well, no worries. We can all talk to him next week. <laughs> yeah, that's that's nice uh, having a lot of the guests going. I mean, we've talked to them before, so it's uh, easier, I guess, but still going to be shy. But uh, we could have like a a guest makeup, like a five minute uh, say hello. That. <laughs> <laughs> so, are, are you gonna participate in the Maker Maker Jenga event uh, that is making an oversized Jenga block for the for a big Jenga game? Um, that being said, I was intrigued by the the image that you sent, but I went to their Instagram page. I even Googled it, but I had no hits. And I think I've mentioned this before. I, I really look forward to going to Maker Central, but they, I mean, they they could have a they could have a Glen uh, on marketing because uh, there is a lot of stuff happening, and I see people post this, and it's a challenge for that. And uh, when you go to their homepage, it's really hard to find a post or a reference to it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, Maker Central is a, in my mind, I mean, that's the it's the big event that's mostly focused on meeting uh, YouTube celebrities and uh, for brands to be able to sell stuff and promote them. But then we have the maker aspect of it, where makers tend to make their own stuff. And <laughs> I think their make, own thing. Yeah, do their own thing. Yeah. And and maker Jenga is one of those things. It's uh, it's closely connected to the make with maker stand that Glenn talked about earlier, which is which which is where I will spend most of my time. I think. Uh, so it's uh, 
so it's not I mean it is part of Maker Central but it's still not an official part more of the an unofficial part no that explains uh, it it's um is it Al from Al's, Al's Hack Shack that seems to have run in the Jenga thing uh, yeah he's uh, well he did the kaplunk last year didn't he yes yes he did so he's the yeah. uh, he's the main uh He's the contact point between Maker Central and the Make Good Makers. Yeah. Uh, so he's he's more or less running that part. Right. Uh, but in answer to your question with the Jenga, I was going to start on some bricks on Saturday and then completely forgot about it and started making a lathe instead. So, <laughs> as you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, yes, I was planning on doing it. I might still, but no guarantees from me. <laughs> What I about think, you? Yeah, I'm pretty much in that category yeah. uh, at the moment. I have some ideas, but I haven't even tried to make them happen. And <laughs> after my last <laughs> failures, I'm not really, I'm not sure sure of my own skills at the moment. So yeah, luggage is going to be a bit of an issue for you guys as well, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Not to take up too much space or more importantly, too much weight. Yeah, so you're you're bringing a load of plot bars over because you promised me, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, no, I have a um, bars bringing some smash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go around the entire weekend uh, up to people and just smash and just give them a bag and just walk <laughs> off and say nothing more. <laughs> Should walk up to them and say the first bag's free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like and subscribe and just walk off. <laughs> They should just sneak up behind people. They pop. <laughs> yeah, you should. <laughs> with a sticker on it. But that being said, what's given, wrong with these Scandinavians? I mean, given the price for each bag, and if I put a sticker on it and then uh, use that as a way to buy subscribers, it's it's much more cheaper to buy the thousand ones from China. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's far too cheap to be able to buy the subscribers, isn't it? Yeah. But, uh, ooh, uh, I need to start buying Smash. Yeah, I need to bring that. If only for me. And then, of course, yeah, and, it, it's, and then it's, uh, I need to bring extra luggage on the way back for all the the tea and, uh, of course, the, the Rubio uh, snacks and uh, so on, so on. Uh, <laughs> Just to fill your pockets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a big overcoat. <laughs> oh, it would be nothing uh, to declare. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if I was living in the UK, I, I would uh, enter the the Maker's Jenga, and I would just come with the largest piece of block ever. Oh, millimeter, <laughs> just <laughs> like a meter times three meter times sixteen, like. <laughs> <laughs> just make one out of every uh, one one in meters one in inches one in feet one in millimeters one in centimeters and so on and so on just to be on the safe side yeah there are all these good ideas but they're too close to the deadline it's, it's a bit like um yeah. i think uh, our kindergarten is actually having um a carnival this sunday that's fine we're going to bring both the kids and then people started talking well uh, it's also meant that the adults will make a costume and dress up i mean i mean it's 5 days away i need more time than that i spent 3 months on that bloody halloween car i mean you got to give me a heads up here <laughs> <laughs> i was just about to say can you not just wear christine yeah, I could, but most of the people there were the same that went uh, Halloween trick or treating with the kids from the kindergarten. So they've already seen it. Uh, so like, oh, I was doing that all the same. Yeah, you can't wear the same outfit twice. No. I mean, that's a that's a ma- that's a maker no no. I mean, I'm not a furry. <laughs> yeah. Just rebranded. Just- yeah, put a 53 on the front. It's Herbie, honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a stripe over the hood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All that. Oh, that is so... That's a 
bloody brilliant idea. I've I've been looking into getting a, a petrol powered like this small uh, kid size ATVs. Of course, for the first year or two, it's going to be for the kids. But when they grow out of them, I have a perfect project to uh, to build something off of. And I mean, you don't have to do anything to them. I just have to make a, a foam. Uh, shell uh, and fiberglass it in the shape of Herbie just miniaturized and then of course a big hole in the roof where you can sit cramped in that would be really <laughs> awesome <laughs> really I was, was a big fan of Herbie when I was a kid I had all the movies and of course they, they remade it with CGI and everything and that was really crap it had nothing <laughs> of, of the shot no. the original ones it's like I saw half of that and nope <laughs> Uh, just original Herbie for me. So, um. <laughs> yeah, the uh... so now I want a beetle again. No, oh, sorry. That's all right. I'm not quite sure who's frozen it. Whether it's either <laughs> you or I me. Think, I think it's Howard had a bit of an episode because <laughs> now he freeze, is yeah. uh, three three seconds. Uh, <laughs> the sound is three seconds after. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe you should leave and rejoin. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got uh, trying to reconnect, make sure you have a stable internet connection. So it's it's the I've same as the last same time. So we well. might yeah, have too. that. Yeah, so then we're going to have that audio drift problem again. <laughs> so, it's a good thing so, we don't good have a video podcast because that's, uh, that's not... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm starting to get fed wrong. up with Roger. <laughs> <laughs> be, be, before things go too wrong, I think we'll probably call that an episode, guys. Yeah, so, I think so. <laughs> thank you very much for joining us this, this evening, and we'll see you for the half pint on Tuesday if all goes well. well let's hope. <laughs> Bye. <it>. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.